Welcome to Tom Clancy's The Division Agent Training Series. In this tutorial, you'll learn more about weapons, consumables, and crafting in the game. There are many different types of weapons in the game that you can see by accessing your inventory. The power of each weapon is shown by its DPS stat, damage per second. When selecting a weapon, you get a detailed view of the weapon stats and properties. You can also compare your equipped weapon to another weapon by selecting Compare. Specialized and high quality weapons have talents that give the weapon unique properties. Higher quality weapons can have more than one. To activate the weapon talents, equip gear to increase requirements for firearms, stamina, or electronics. You can customize all your weapons with mods that you find by defeating enemies, finishing missions, and in loot caches. Mods can affect different aspects of your weapons, such as handling and stats, and can be transferred from weapon to weapon. To modify a weapon, select your weapon in the inventory and select Mod. The number of mods per weapon is indicated for each slot. You'll find different types of consumables across the world that you can pick up and use anytime to temporarily increase performance. To use those items, open the consumables selection wheel and pick the item of your choice. Food and water consumables increase character performance. Special ammo consumables increase your weapon efficiency. Grenades come in different types that have different effects and that you can choose depending on the situation. Crafting enables you to create new weapons, gears, and mods. You can access your crafting station at the base of operations. To craft an item, you need a blueprint and crafting materials. You'll acquire blueprints as you level up by completing missions and from vendors. Blueprints can be reused for similar items that have different stats. There are two ways of obtaining crafting materials, either in the open world or by deconstructing gear in your inventory. In the world, areas that contain crafting materials will be marked on your map so that you can go back to those areas every two hours to scavenge. Feel free to check out our other Agent Training Series for more tips to survive in The Division. Good luck, Agents.